And welcome back to the warm air that we had to uh, finish out the month of October and start the month of November is uh, continuing to uh, be here. Average high this time of year is 59 degrees, and we were well above that with a high so far in North Platte at 72. Uh, here's a look at the current temperature at 67 degrees. Wind is west at 8 miles per hour. That's a dry flow. It does make the temperature warm up and cool down pretty quickly during the uh, daylight hours. Now, dew point is at 24, so that just shows you how dry things are. Temperatures across the region look like this. 67 at North Platte, but a 68 Fedford, Valentine, Broken Bow, and Lexington, and uh, 69 at Ogallala with uh, Imperial also holding at 68 degrees. There's your wind from a westerly direction. Wind speeds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Now, here's a look at the uh, satellite loop. We do have mainly clear skies across the region. If you're just off to the west of Valentine, could see a few high clouds, but that is it for the moisture. Now, as for the Doppler radar, we do have this high pressure system just off to our south and to our west. The cooler air we had over the weekend is exiting along with some moisture into the Midwest. High pressure is cresting over us, and we got that flow mainly from a southerly direction that will warm us up even further as we go through the next couple of days. And then after that, we do have this disturbance that's now over the west coast that will cool us off and give us some moisture as we go through the Thursday and into the Friday time frame. So here's a look at the sky cast. We're going to keep mainly clear skies. Wind from a west-southwesterly direction. 11 p.m. temperatures around 40 degrees, so still not bad for this time of year. We're going to have overnight lows into the low to mid-30s across the region, still mainly clear skies. And as we go through the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine and a stronger southerly wind. So some mid and maybe even some upper 70s across the region. And then going through the overnight into Wednesday morning, a few clouds, but that will actually keep the temperatures up there. We're going to have warmer overnight lows with the clouds and a little bit of a southerly wind. So starting off your Wednesday into the lower 40s, and then that'll give us a high starting off point for where we're going to be on Wednesday afternoon. Still lots of sunshine across the region with highs into the mid to upper 70s widespread across the entire viewing area. So this high pressure system works its way out to the east. We're going to get that stronger southerly wind with mostly clear to clear skies. Now our next weather maker is going to be this low. The main low is going to miss us off to the north. We do have have this cold front that's going to make its way through. We think the winds are going to be a little more northerly, so that could produce a little more moisture in the form of some rain or even some snow showers into the higher elevations into our western counties. Then after that, this, this high pressure system is a lot cooler, so temperatures will be on their way down. Here's the forecast for tonight. We got clear skies. We're going to say seasonably cool into the upper 30s to mid, uh, upper 20s to mid 30s for lows. Then sunny skies warmer tomorrow, mid to upper 70s. That south wind going to be around 10 to 20 miles per hour and mostly sunny Wednesday warm and dry with mid to upper 70s sticking around as we keep that southerly wind. Then for the day on Thursday, some rain showers late in the day, turning breezy. Could be some snow showers overnight. Thursday's high only at 53, then 46 for Friday, but we are back to mainly sunny skies. Getting back up to the upper 50s to near 60 over the weekend, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, still dry once again to start next week. Partly cloudy skies and a high of 52 degrees. Ian? Thanks, Justin. So let me ask you this. What do you think the chances of North Platte seeing snow is on uh, Thursday? If we do get some snow showers, probably going to be about 3,000 feet and above. North Platte's around 2,700 feet, so I don't think we're going to get it. Makes sense to me, Justin. Well, thank you so much. And in other news tonight, the search to find more victims of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre has led to the discovery of 17 additional marked graves. Efforts to find the unmarked graves began once again last Wednesday at Tulsa's Oak Lawn Cemetery. In the process of searching, scientists found an additional 17 adult burials with 16